Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be finding the sum of an infinite series. In other words, we're going to try to evaluate this infinite sum where the signs alternate and the terms are the reciprocals of consecutive integers. So we have 1 minus 1 half plus 1 third minus 1 fourth plus 1 fifth so on and so forth. Okay, this goes on forever so we kind of have to think about does this converge? In other words, does this have a finite sum that we can evaluate? So we're going to talk about a couple different things, including convergence, divergence, absolute convergence, so on and so forth. And we're going to be doing some interesting stuff. So I'll be presenting two methods, even though the first method is blank. I'll tell you a little bit about it. So let's start with the first one. Okay. So for my first method, I kind of want to call this whole thing x and let's go ahead and set this equal to x and my goal is to rearrange the terms so I can get the x again if you remember the infinite geometric series it kind of goes like this right 1 plus r plus r squared plus r cubed so on and so forth and you know for certain values of r this converges and one of the approaches that we use for this type of um, geometric series is that we sh starting with the second term or any other term we can factor out an r and that gives us 1 plus r plus r squared again which means this infinite series actually contains itself so if you called it something let's say you call this whole thing x then you would also have an x here which allows you to solve for x but does this always work or under what conditions is this going to work those are good questions and we're going to try to answer some of them, okay? So we set it equal to x, and then let's go ahead and write this a little differently. How about I start with 1, and then bring in the 1 fourth, because notice that uh, the even numbers have, of course I'm talking about the denominators, have a minus term, and then I want to go to the 1 third next, which is a plus sign, and then I want to follow up, obviously, I want to follow up with an even number so that I can subtract two terms like this. I can subtract one sixth and one eighth. And then I want to go to one fifth. Notice that I always have these odd terms. So I'm making groups of three. Makes sense? Of course, this will be followed by one over 10 and then one over 12. And if you look at the even numbers, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, they make sense. If you look at the odd numbers, one, one third, one fifth, it, that also makes sense. Get the idea? And of course, then I'll continue with 1 7th, 1 14th, so on and so forth. You get the idea, right? Okay. So what am I going to do with this? We're going to do some something fun, okay? Ready? And this is going to be a minus sign too. So we're going to go ahead and subtract 1 and 1 half. So if you think about it, 1 minus 1 half, this will be 1 half. If you subtract these numbers, this is like 2 over 6 minus 1 over 6, which is 1 over 6. If you subtract these numbers, you get 1 tenth. So you kind of get something like this. 1 half minus 1 fourth plus 1 over 6 minus 1 over 8 plus 1 over 10 minus 1 over 12, which is 1 over 14, so on and so forth. You get the idea? Okay. So basically what happens here, and I think the next one is going to be 1 over 16, what happens here is we got rid of the odd numbers, which is really cool, right? Don't you think? But then that's not the only thing we're going to do. If you look at this sum carefully, the rearranged terms, you're hopefully going to realize that I can actually factor out a 1 half because everything is even, right? So let's take out a 1 half, and inside the parentheses we're going to get 1 minus 1 half plus 1 third, minus one fourth plus one fifth you don't need to beat at that horse you get the idea right okay what happens is we get our x back that's really cool isn't it so we started off with x and then we rearrange the terms kind of like a jumbo mumbo hocus pocus abracadabra and then we get x again this time the x is inside the parentheses just like before the geometric infinite geometric series so this is the same as x Great, but there's a one half in front of it, so this is actually half of x. Great. What did we start with? We started with x, rearranged the terms, and now we got half of x, which means x should equal half of x. Great. And you know what that means? That means x is equal to zero. <laughs> Obviously, 
you should not take this seriously because I told you that I was going to do something different with the first method, right? Well, this is not valid. Why? Because the problem is we have something, a series that looks like this, right? I could probably write it differently with an n minus 1, 2. But if you think about it, this is, this is a negative 1 to the power of n plus 1, which is the alternating series, right? So this converges, but it does not absolutely converge. What does that mean? If I take the absolute value, this will turn into the harmonic series, which does not converge. In other words, this it diverges, right? What does that mean? If the absolute value does not converge, then our series does not absolutely converge. And when it doesn't, what happens? You, re you cannot rearrange the terms. Because when you rearrange, it does not necessarily converge to the same value. Does that make sense? Okay, cool. So that's not the answer, obviously, because this is not zero, as you know, or maybe you don't, because you're going to find out. You're about to find out what the series adds up to. Let's go ahead and take a look at the second method, okay? If notability allows us to do it, I don't know why. The, is, it, is it the static electricity or something else? Sometimes just does crazy stuff. Anyway, so let's see how we can use the second method. For my second method, I'm going to use an infinite geometric series. Isn't that funny? We just talked about it and we actually used that as an example, but that was just a distraction. I wanted to distract you so I could kind of fool you a little bit. So allow me to do that, or I apologize if you were offended, but anyways. So let's see what we can do with this. We're going to go ahead and consider the following geometric series, okay? Uh, the geometric series that I'm going to consider is 1 minus x plus x squared minus x cubed plus x to the fourth, so on and so forth. And I can write it with the formula for the infinite geometric series, and this gives us 1 over 1 plus x. What, where does that come from? Uh, you can just use the formula for 1 plus r plus r squared, which is 1 over 1 minus r, and then replace r with negative x, you'll get that. Make sense? And if you cross multiply, you'll get 1, obviously. You can see that too. This is really cool. You know why? because we are about to do something amazing, and that is called calculus. We're going to go ahead and integrate both sides. How about that? dx, put a dx, and then integrate this and that, because they're equal, from 0 to 1, 0 to 1. Why 0 to 1? You'll see in a little bit why. When I integrate the left-hand side, what am I getting? x minus x squared over 2 plus x cubed over 3, minus x to the fourth over four, so on and so forth. It goes on forever. And then the right-hand side, and obviously I'm supposed to replace one and uh, zero and one. And the right-hand side is just gonna be ln one plus x. I don't need absolute value from zero to one. Let's go ahead and do the placements. Obviously, if you replace x with zero on the left, you're gonna get all zeros, so we don't care. Just use one. x equals one is gonna give us one minus one half, plus one third, minus one fourth, so on and so forth. Does that look familiar? And then right-hand side is going to give us ln 2 minus ln 1, which is 0, so we don't have to worry about it. So the sum that we were trying to evaluate actually sums up to ln 2, which is the natural log of 2, which is a very, very special number. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.